To get a little better understanding of what standing waves are, we're going to look at it again in a slightly different way here. We're going to find what we call the resonance frequency of a standing wave. Also, it's called the first harmonic. So we have a situation like here where we have a string tied between two blocks, two strong blocks. Let's say the string has a length of one meter. Uh, let's say that the tension is such that the velocity of the string is 100 meters per second. And we take the string at the very middle of the string and pull it down, let it go. Then we have what we call a fundamental frequency of the oscillation of this wave. So that's called the first harmonic. And so this is also known as the fundamental frequency of a standing wave. That's noteworthy, and let's write that down. And so if you have, let's say, a guitar string or piano string or a violin string, you pluck it at the halfway point, at the halfway point of the string. That's typically not what's done, especially with guitars. Then you will get this, what we call the standing wave, where we have the fundamental frequency. And let's find out what that fundamental frequency is. So we know that the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So the, the frequency is equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength. The velocity was given to us at 100 meters per second, but now we also need to know the wavelength. Now, of course, we know that this represents a half a wave, because if you, in your imagination, if you carry this through like that, you can see that this would be a full wave, so that's a half a wave. So know that L equals a half a lambda, or lambda equals twice the length, which is two times one meter, which is two meters, which goes in here, two meters. And so therefore the frequency, which we're going to call the fundamental frequency, and we'll put a little F sub naught there that indicates the base frequency or fundamental frequency would be equal to 50 meters cancels out, one over seconds is hertz. So in this case, that would be the fundamental frequency. And how you obtain that is by taking a string like this and plugging it at the very center and having it oscillate back and forth. Now, music instruments, that's not always the case. We don't always pluck it at the very center. We may pluck it at different locations. And when that happens, you have a different kind of waveform, which is not the first harmonic or the, or the fundamental frequency. And to know how to do that, you'll have to come and watch our next video, because there we'll show you what the first overtone or the second harmonic looks like and how to obtain that.